Hi, I'm Zach Malamud. I am first and foremost a senior at the University of Maryland College Park, uh, majoring in engagement and media, actually a major that I created. That'll make sense when I tell you a little bit more about my story. Uh, but I'm also the founder and executive director of a nonprofit, national nonprofit organization led by students called Student Voice. Um, Student Voice started uh, about three and a half to four years ago actually on Twitter. Uh, as a senior in high school, I had begun to recognize all these educators tweeting on Twitter and using that as a platform to further their profession. And it was ironic to me that teachers were using Twitter when Twitter was actually blocked in my own school. Uh, so I actually started outside of school engaging in these conversations on Twitter. You know, you had hashtag EdChat, hashtag PTChat. And I recognized that I was one of, if not the only, uh, student voice out there uh, on Twitter engaging with some of the most influential people in education. In fact, I fondly remember uh, getting Diane Ravitch and Randy Weingarten into an argument with each other over Twitter. Uh, they might not remember that, but that was a turning point for me. It made me realize that as a student, you really do have the ability to influence the conversation happening on edu around education improvement efforts. Um, and so through Twitter and through utilizing the platform, uh, I had begun to then start using that as a way for me to connect with other students across the country, in part through their teachers, in part through other organizations that existed on Twitter. And uh, through that, we really started to form a national network of student voices. And uh, back on May 7th of 2012, we started what became uh, the Stu Voice Twitter Chats. Stu Voice Twitter Chats have run every single Monday uh, at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, since, since then, and we've engaged everyone from presidential candidates to journalists, educators, uh, even U.S. Secretary of Education Arne Duncan, and we have had students from all across the world join us, uh, students from Peru, students from the United Arab Emirates, students from Canada, uh, and of course all across the United States, even North Dakota. It, it's, it's amazing that Twitter was a, a means for me to connect with students in places uh, and with experiences that I never thought I would ever really come to understand or really encounter in my everyday life. Um, but I did. Uh, and from that, I began to recognize that we had an even greater need to not just include student voices in a Twitter dialogue around improving education. Um, we needed to formalize an effort to really move this, move this idea, this concept uh, forward. And so we took this online Twitter community and actually organized an event called Student Voice Live. We hosted it. Uh, in April of 2013 and from there you had everybody coming together who had originally only met on Twitter or Facebook or some social platform they came together and met in person for the first time uh, when you had that happen when we had that happen it was really an incredible experience because these are people who had formed relationships online but never actually met in person and they felt like they were best friends with each other in fact I like to say to my parents you know I spoke to some of these kids more than I even spoke to you and, and it was in many cases true uh, because we had such a connection and we learned so much from each other. And from those in-person events, we actually started a nonprofit, the nonprofit Student Voice. So before then, we weren't even a formalized organization. We were just a movement, an organized movement of students from all different backgrounds, from Ferguson to Baltimore to New York City to Fargo, North Dakota to San Diego, California, and everywhere in between. Um, and then moving forward, we started to host these events and conversations across the country. We were invited to host a summit at South by Southwest this past year. Um, and, and through these conversations, we recognized the need to really create structure for this idea of student voice. And, and that became a concept known as the Student Bill of Rights. Uh, we, we began to launch the platform about a month ago. And the platform serves to one, inform students uh, on the ways that they can involve themselves in improving education. And two, it gives them the ability to vote. Vote on the uh, rights that are most important to them so that they can then connect with other students who have similar ideas, similar passions. Um, and, and then thirdly, uh, it allows them to actually create student-initiated uh, school improvement efforts within their own schools. So schools are actually buying into the Student Bill of Rights platform and saying, hey students, we want you to tell us what, what parts of the school you want to improve the most or what, what's most important to you. And we'll work with you to improve the school environment. I mean, that's a, that's a great way for students to really understand the power of civic engagement. It really starts in the school. Uh, and so I've become really, really passionate about this, student, this idea of student voice. I see it as a way to keep students in school. I see it as a way to help students really pursue their passions. And I really, really, you know, think about it like this. Uh, education's about and for the students. 
And if we're not engaging students in, in creating a better learning environment, a better educational experience for them, who are we really serving? A and whose interests are we really including in shaping the future of education? So it, it really excites me to see that just from a simple hashtag, Stu Voice, uh, we've been able to grow a movement and, and help people really revolutionize a concept and, and grow a concept uh, around, I mean, the, probably one of the most common sense uh, measures for improving education and, and the most common sense stakeholder to engage in the conversation that for some reason was never included or engaged before, the student voices. Uh, and that's why I'm so passionate about student voice improving education.